Hi, I'm Mike Ryan. In this video, we're going to do part three of turquoise grading. I think turquoise grading is an important subject that has really not been covered very well because there's been some concern among many in the turquoise industry that a grading system is too subjective, too difficult to implement, and that it will probably lower the grade on a lot of their turquoise and therefore reduce their revenues. I really don't agree with that. I think we have grading in other gemstones that works pretty well. Certainly consumers, I think, would like to have a grading system. But I've just put this proposal out for the Roberts Ryan, the R2 grading rules, and you can see how that grading is done in turquoise grading part one, and in our blog article, which details very clearly, I think, how to do the grading. In turquoise grading part two, we looked at four different turquoise mines and we saw how identification of turquoise is connected to turquoise grading because in any mine, you're going to have a range of grades from oftentimes just chalky material to a mid-grade natural turquoise to very higher, higher grades. And in this video, we're going to focus primarily on one stone, Chinese stone, that I just cut. So I'm very comfortable on its provenance. And we see how even though it is Chinese, we know it's Chinese, it would be difficult maybe to identify it as Chinese because it looks similar to other high-grade turquoise. So with that, I encourage you to do some grading yourself uh, on all three of the turquoise videos and see how the system works and how comfortable you can get with it. And then when you do, please post your comments uh, on the website and we can see how different eyes are seeing the turquoise, hopefully coming in pretty close in the same area of grading. So with that, let's Go grade some turquoise. Here we're looking at some different turquoise and a lot of it has a lot of similarities and it might be kind of difficult to determine where the turquoise is from. These four stones are Chinese from Hubei province from the Yungai Temple Mine. But what is really different in them is this one has this very different nodule formation of the turquoise. Even though it's in a similar brownish red matrix, it has a different look that is often associated with Chinese turquoise. In contrast, these stones all have a much more defined, tight pattern of turquoise formation in them. And I wanted to show these two stones because all three of these came from one large nugget. And these two, I just sliced the nugget so you have an idea of the size of the nugget. And then I took what was left, trimmed some of the host rock off, and then in the center was this large 255 a piece of turquoise. And I decided to keep it large because it's hard to find this grade of turquoise in this size. So let me take these out of the way here and we can focus then on the other turquoise. So we have Chinese, Chinese, same spot, but very different look. Then over here, we have two caps that are Godber Burnham turquoise. And then finally here we have Bisbee. These two on the left are unbacked. I'm going to turn over this one large 255 carat piece. And this one as well. And one may wonder why that side was not chosen for the top of the cap. Those are both unbacked 
and all of these here they are backed and I'm just going to turn this one over because anytime you see this gold DEVCON that's a signature of Bruce Mead who was the Bisbee rock man and whose work is being continued on by his widow um, Donna Mead. So I'll turn this one back over and all of this backing is very very thin very thin. So let's turn these back over. Now these are all exceptionally high grade. I went through the grading process and for this for this cab I have color of 90, hardness 89, matrix 89 for a score of 89.5 which is very high grade. For the First Godber Burnham, color 93. Look at that deep, rich color in that. But hardness came down a bit to 89 because you can see here this lighter, lighter brown, kind of the, the, the clay that comes in there, kind of soft. Grades it down to about 89. Matrix, again, because the matrix just doesn't flow all the way through, there's just kind of this bright spot there. Give that an 88 comes out to 90.75 or very high grade. This piece of Godber Burnham, color of 93. I don't know if you can see in there, but the color is just a very rich, saturated, oftentimes called a Burnham blue that is very distinctive of Godber Burnham turquoise. Hardness of 90. That matrix in there is much harder than in the, the stone above it. And uh, a matrix of 90 as well for a score of 91.5 or gem grade. This Bisbee, exceptional color of 95. Now I will admit I am, I've got a soft spot for Bisbee blue. So I'm probably going to grade that always a little bit higher because I just love that saturated blue. I love the electric quality that comes from the stone. I gave it a hardness of 92 and a matrix of 91 for a score of 93.25 or gem grade. Finally, we have this big Chinese cab here. Color of 94. I hope you can see that beautiful, beautiful blue. Of course, it's going to show up a little bit differently on the camera. It's going to have a different, different color rendition. It's actually maybe a little bit lighter blue in in person as opposed to what you're seeing here on the camera but it's uh, exceptional color for turquoise a uh, hardness of 92 and a matrix of 89 for a grade of 92.75 which is gem grade so i hope you've enjoyed taking a brief look at another look at grading some different stones and a chance to practice your own grading skills.